from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Although coal miner Exaro acknowledges its contribution towards climate change, it also stresses that coal from already established coal mines needs to be capitalized upon to form the foundation of a new and future sustainable business. Crema Media's Donna Slater reports that simply closing current coal mines, such as the Lepalale Hrutakluk mine, would result in a large-scale regional job losses and the inability for ESCOM to produce power from its baseload coal-fired generation fleets. As a prelude and financial impetus to build a more sustainable and less carbon-intensive business, Exaro has established a new business strategy that relies on extracting the most from its current mines. Exaro Stakeholder Affairs Executive Head Nzila Mthanjane explains how the company intends to implement its new strategy. Why did we even establish a new strategy? Well, there's some forces that have been changing and have forced us to, to, to relook at the business and in terms of where we are and where we're going into the future. And climate change, depending on your perspective, you can see it only as a challenge, which will, you know, um, uh, take you on and uh, most likely roll you over. But we've taken a different perspective that it provides us with opportunities. We don't, we're not climate denialists, it is real. And we're seeing how it's already manifesting in a number of areas. But in small ways and in large ways, we're seeing how climate change is manifesting on itself. And this has driven this imperative for an energy transition. And from a South African perspective, we are embarking on a change to, to respond to climate change, but it's also critical we place an emphasis on energy security. And as the country and as companies transition, it's also important to bear in mind the impact this is going to have on people, both in terms of employees, but also in terms of the communities that rely on coal and the whole coal value chain. These forces have then put us in a position where we had to make choices. I think most, you've seen how many other companies have made choices around their own transition. We made the choice of managing our coal business. And this is a very important choice that we made. And it's a choice that we've taken both comfortably and with confidence. Largely because we have a quality set of coal operations. And I've also mentioned the role that we play in South Africa's current and need for energy security. Any decision we had to, any decision we make or had to make in terms of where to from here in terms of the coal business had to take into consideration South Africa's needs for electricity today and into the future. But managing the business meant that we, we were aware of what the multiplicity of issues are that we need to manage. So I've mentioned energy security. There's the social, a potential social disruption that could result if we didn't make this choice. Then again, to add to that, the need for Exaro to grow and to grow on a firm and very strong basis of being a coal mining operation aspiring to be diversified resources company. And so this resulting strategy is what you're seeing on this slide. To your left are strategic objectives, and I like to describe these as uh, ESG personified. And when you get time to read them, you'll understand why I say that, because it's really translating what has become the key agenda item amongst uh, shareholders in terms of ESG, translating that into our own language that we understand and can speak to when we talk amongst ourselves. On the growth, it is about the renewables energy as well as the minerals, but we cannot achieve this if we don't manage the current business effectively and efficiently. And so this growth is growth that will be enabled by a, an efficient and well-performing coal business. And then impact, as I've alluded to earlier, it's about Exaro transforming and transitioning in a way that will have a positive impact on society in general. And this is really elaborating on that in terms of the coal business, how we're managing it to maximize its current value, looking at what we call early value coal 
in order to minimize stranded assets. And what I mean by that is that we want to make sure that the highest value coal is taken out within this window that's remaining between now and when the transition becomes effective. And through that, we're able to maximize the cash flows, which we then are able to reinvest into new businesses. We're aiming to build a leading renewables energy business, as well as diversify our minerals. And with that, continue to reinforce our reason for being in terms of sustainable impact on society and communities that depend on coal. Specifically at its Limpopo-based Khutikla coal mine, Exaro Planning and Optimization Manager Tommy Richards details how the miner is undertaking operations in a cost-effective manner. Khutikla is Exaro's largest supplier of coal. We in total contribute 25% of South Africa's electricity coming from a single source. We have over 3,500 employees. We produce currently between 20 and 30 million tons of, of coal every, every year. And, and the products that we are currently supplying is basically three main products. First of all, power station coal that's going to two power stations. Um, and then semi-soft coking coal and metallurgical coal. Currently, the supply to our two power stations, 25.2 million tons that we're supplying to Madupi and, and specifically Matimba, each of them of 12.5 million tons, um, making up to 25. Then, specifically on our metallurgical coal, 1.3 million tons that we're supplying in the domestic market. Um, we produce semi-soft coking coal, 1.2 million tons that we supply to, to metal and then export-wise, um, currently doing 1.5 million tons of exports and ramping up to 3 million tons that we will, um, as the GG6 project, are ramping up. Here we can see an overall picture. The mine is quite big. Um, it's got 13 benches, um, 120 meters deep, and it has got a surface area of 1,200 hectares. And, and, and with it's three kilometers wide and five, four kilometers in length. We're mining in a westerly direction and obviously on the north and the south. So total export product that we are mining, 90 million tons, um, overburden, interburden, 30 million tons, and then runoff mine that's going to our plants, 60 million tons that we're doing. Um, we also now brought in runoff mine input crushes to bring the crushing stations closer to the pit to reduce a lot of obviously um, diesel usage instead of, of driving with trucks it out, we're doing it by conveyors. And then we can see the backfill area um, that we start filling from the back and that we've got a moving void and that we rehabilitate as we go. Um, obviously when you open up a mine you can't immediately start the rehabilitating you need to open up first and therefore um, that you needed to put the material first on the outside before you can start the rehabilitation um, from the back end and, and running with it. This is just the systems obviously bringing the discard from back from the plants. Um, it's a system that's doing over 7,600 7, tons per hour. The mine has got, we talk about 10 plants, we didn't build GG9, um, and, and it's obviously starting, we, the mine started opening up in 1980, so we over 40 years that we're already in operation. So it started with GG1, and then we built GG3, um, GG2, 3, 4, and 5, and GG6, and then the latest plants that we built is GG7 and 8. We converted the GG6 to a double stage plant, and that is what, in total, we're handling 16,000 tons of run of mine um, that we bring into our plant complex. Um, there is the different products that we are basically producing, um, mainly the power station coal that we do at a 35% ash, and then the semi-soft coking coal where we've got two options. We're doing a semi-soft coking coal that's mainly going to metal at the 10.5% ash, and then an RB1 spec that we're exporting that can vary between a 10.3 and a 15% ash, but the 6,000 6, kilocal product. And then on the metallurgical, we also do a 15 and 11% ash product. That so. so the areas 
where we they described is basically our stockpile areas. So the total capacity of our stockpile areas in terms of power station, we've got a million tons of um, stockpile area that we carry, um, five stacking and four reclaiming um, conveyor, um, specific stackers and reclaimers on the metallurgical side, 60,000 tons, and then on the semi-soft and export, 120,000 tons of export um, product capacity that we've got in stock stockpile space. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.